What is going on, everybody? It is Bad Billy from Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, in this video, I want to talk about a couple of people that uh, I would say are inspirations. One of them's definitely uh, an inspiration on what I do with uh, his disability. The other one's an inspiration to millions of people. First one I want to talk about, the one who calls himself the bipolar rock and roller, Mauro Ranallo. If you're a fan of mixed martial arts, and I mean not just the UFC, but mixed martial arts in general, and you watch Strike Force, if you watch the old Pride Fighting Championships, then you know who I'm talking about, the color commentator Mauro Ranallo. If uh, I don't know, some of my friends uh, disagree with me, but I think he's one of the best color commentators out there. Um, definitely, uh, he's got his show on uh, Hardcore Sports Radio, uh, the the fight show with Mauro Ronaldo, the MMA show, which is on uh, Canadian Network. But they don't call him the bipolar rock and roller for no reason and real quick uh... if uh... you want to also check out his show uh, I, uh... you always go to the score dot com uh... serious radio channel ninety eight or of course uh... i have his show on my telephone hotline known as the octagon of my telespace which you can call at five seven five eight zero two eight one two five and you can hear his show Monday through Friday, with the exception of holidays on option four. But anyway, enough about that. They call they don't call Mauro Ronaldo the bipolar rock and roller for no reason. The guy's had some serious issues in the past. Uh, been in the hospital. That bipolar. You know, he says he takes his medicine and he's done well ever since. But. Rightfully so. So they put me on a plane back home to family because, you know, my parents, being you know, Italians, of course, I, uh, I'm always going to be uh, Mama Ranella's baby boy. I remember dry, uh, going onto the plane when we left off. When I saw my parents, I lost it. I was like, okay, I'm a, this is it. My life is over. Everything that I've dreamed of, everything that I've worked for, it's done, dude. You are, you're, you know, pardon the French. You're, 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 in, you're insane. Um, they put me in hospital, I was in a, a psychiatric ward, and it's almost, you know, God works in mysterious ways, whatever, but I, I learned a lot about myself, I learned a lot about uh, people, I learned a lot about uh, just the, the stigmas attached to, to mental illness and, and, and whatnot, and I then, right then and there, that time period, and here's the weirdest part, uh, sorry, back up, the day I got back home, the day I arrived home from Calgary thinking my life was over, my career was over, my mom says to me, there's a guy with a weird accent on the phone talking about Los Angeles. You don't, I'm sure you don't even want to deal with this now. I pick up the phone, and it's Boss Rutan's voice. And he's saying, Moro, you have to send a tape to Los Angeles. He's not knowing what's going on in my life or anything. We had met two years prior uh, on a bad movie in Vancouver, made connection. He was the first person that had ever said, you know, I'm definitely going to keep in touch with you, and had done that and really wanted to work with me again. So two years later, he's giving me this opportunity and it's the day I come back so I'm not mentally well at all I pick up the and I, I collapse I start crying I'm done because I cannot believe that on a day that I'm hitting rock bottom this opportunity of a lifetime comes there was a time in his life where he wasn't doing so well so, you know he he's definitely an inspiration to me and uh, I wish him uh, all the best of luck in his future with uh, strike force with uh, the fight show and the MMA show. The other person I want to talk about is a man named Ted Williams from Columbus, Ohio. Ted Williams. Like I said, an inspiration to millions. A man with a golden voice. We're talking a real radio voice. But he was a homeless man. Basically panhandling at the side of the road. You know, begging people for change, whatever. You know, but his sign said, uh, I have a God gift voice or whatever it was. And when 
the video was posted on YouTube and he was asked to work for his money and speak in that golden voice of his. Once you got to hear it, <laughs> that man had a, like a, a serious radio voice. Hey, I'm going to make you work for your dollar. Say something with that great radio voice. When you're listening to nothing but the best of oldies, you're listening to Magic 98.9. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. And we'll be back with more right after these words. <laughs> and don't forget, tomorrow morning is your chance to win a pair of tickets to see this man live in concert. And after that video on YouTube was posted, the man got recognition. Next thing you know, the man got job offers. And he mentions in this video that he has a rough past. He ended up homeless because he fell under the influence of drugs and alcohol. I can't be an actor, I can't be an on-air personality, but the voice just became something of a, of a development over years and I went to school for it. And then alcohol and drugs and a few other things became a part of my life. And I got two years clean and I'm trying hard to get it back and hopefully... But this is a story of a second chance, unlike I've never heard before, and that's why I really consider him to be an inspiration. And uh, one thing that just sickens me, though, is for those that are down low, that are nobodies, that end up finding success, they're praised by people like me, or they're hated on by jealous people. Come on, guys. The man made it no secret that he's got a rough past. He's got a criminal background that he, you know, fell under the influence of drugs and alcohol and he ended up homeless. So why are people trying to exploit him with his past, uh, you know, his mug shots, his, his prior felony records and all that? He already came out in the open and said that the, he already had this hanging over his head. He, you know, you're not telling... The general public that has given this man attention something that they don't already know. He said it himself. You know, for those of you that are doing this, and I've read some uh, the comments on YouTube for on the videos about Ted Williams. You know, they're saying this and that about him. Our, all I gotta say about you guys is. Uh, you must be so miserable with your own life that somebody who was pro probably just as miserable, maybe more miserable, maybe a little bit less miserable than you, regardless the case, you see that he's doing something with his life, you're getting jealous, and so you're doing whatever you can to bring him back down just because you can't get to wherever he is going. And that is sad. Anyway, uh, that's all I've got for this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I know I'm probably going to get some negative comments because uh, I'm addressing you haters out there. But at the same time, you know, mad props to both Mauro Ranallo and uh, Ted Williams. You know, I think both of you guys are going to go pretty far with the media. Everybody take care.